Okay, looks like it, it's going to be the theme of my day <laughs> today is hopefully it's not what just happened. I just started off to go, you know, try to do these deliveries. It's Friday, May 31st, 2024. And, uh, and I was at the, at the end of a road where there's this road, you know, this road crosses it. And uh, sure enough, there was a, you know, I'm, I'm pulling up to the road to stop because they have the right of way. And there was a car behind me. They decided that they can go beside me. It's a big mini man decided that it can somehow go on the right side of me to turn. Well, that's only a one lane. Okay. Yeah, think about that for a moment. <laughs> oh, God. I see some of the craziest driving. It's not even funny. But I wonder how it's going to be this uh, from here on. Basically, let me go back some. Well, let me start off with this. Start with this. Uh, last when, last Friday, um, school's let out for the summer. And I have wondered what is it going to be like because I started doing these deliveries in the end of July. Okay. And I had wondered since my experience, you know, just one time with a bunch of kids, teenagers, um, you know, who do those online challenges I would heard so much about. And one of them did it. It was so, it was so, yeah, it wasn't that difficult to figure it out at the end of all of it. And, uh, well, you know, after it happened, like, while it was happening. But, um, I, I, it left a, it left a, you know, such negativity about delivering when, well, we'll just see how it goes this summer. I, yeah, it's, it might change a whole lot of, like, where I'm, where I go delivery, to do delivery, what times, and stuff like that, that might play a role in it, because the very first day, like I said, Friday they let out of school this year, you know, for the summer, and the first day that any of these would be, you know, the children, the kids, most likely would be alone at home, would be Tuesday, because Monday was Memorial Day. Friday was the day they let out of school, so Friday, the Memorial Day weekend, and then the first next day that they would have been left alone. Well, the, the result of it was that after the girl came and got, you know, I went to deliver, she was meet at door. I handed her food, started to walk off. Her dad came to the door, you know, opened the door, and he said, excuse me, do, can I, may I help you? You know, he's all confused. They're really nice homes and all this out there, and he was, seemed like a very nice man. He was just totally confused, a bit of a cowboy, really nice homes, and uh, out in the country, really. And... You know, I told him, I said, I'm just delivering. I told him from which delivery service. And he, he's just I stood there kind of like, he was su such in shock. <laughs> I mean, I felt sorry for him because I kind of, I you know, I can put two and two together really quickly. And, uh, real quickly. And then, anyway, he, um, he said, okay. And then he, and I started turning back, you know, turn back around, started walking off back to my SUV. And I heard him. Uh, he, he didn't shut the door yet. He, he told her, did you? Or ask her, he said, you, you, you order you know, some food? So he, she didn't tell him, ask him, tell him that she was going to do it. Whatever is the case. If she had, he's let her do it all by herself anyway or you know, whatever, at her own discretion or whatever it was, he, he was not informed. Nor would that, would that mean that did she order him anything? You can look at it so many different ways, and or, you know, this stuff. And I kind of felt for him, because think about it, really. Because no, seriously, you think about it, you raise your children the right way. You think that you're raising them the right way, but then they so, show such selfishness. That, to me, would be very selfish. You know, you raise your child, and they, they want to go and do something like that. Don't Not even think about you, or not even think to ask or tell. You see, not even if, you know, ask or inform, I should say. Well, you know, just all about them. That's not good. 
uh, in my book, that would never be good. You know, to be that for a child to be that self-centered. And I don't know if she got in trouble or what. Who knows? Okay, I was gonna park there, but I'm gonna go ahead and go. But so basically, the very first thing right off the bat, the first day they, you know, well, they could be alone by themselves. You know, any ch any child that was in school and whose parents both work, whatever is the situation. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I mean, of course, it's just one. It's just one, just the very first day they could be alone. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, of course, I know that it doesn't work that way, but hey, yeah, it kind of does. It kind of makes, it kind of, it doesn't. But at the same time, it's like a question there. Okay, it, it's more of what should I be preparing myself for? Because that was one, you know, bunch of kids on the road. I don't know if it was in it, but I turned it off so I can just delete that clip. Hopefully I'll remember. But anyway, um, so it, basically what is brought about is all these questions or brings about more, even more. You know, what do you tell a parent when a parent comes to the door like that all confused? I mean, I think the most obvious thing to do is just to say the name of the delivery service. But what if they don't give you that opportunity? I mean, I think because I'm you know, more of a, like a grandma kind of look to me, you know, my age and everything, that, you know, there was no problem because he's looking at a grandma kind of looking like person, <laughs> woman, you know. But if I were younger and male, or, you see what I'm saying? You know, what, what would, how confusing that would be that a, their child, their teenager, you know, not a child, teenager, is is at home and has some food to, to, you know, given to them. Really, think about it. So, so many things. But yeah, I, I guess in a way I have that going for me is that I don't, I'm not young, you know. <laughs> really, it's just kind of like that's the thing going for me. But anyway, I, I do wonder if it's gonna be any more of this because these, these two places I'm going out to um, these are mainly homes I have seen, I think, well, one apartment complex that's within it. The other one, I'm not sure if it's, it's within it or not. And I don't even remember where that was. It was just, I drove past it fast. Well, actually, I do know where that is, but it's not anywhere I have, I have been asked to, to deliver. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's the next city over, next suburb over. So, I've seen a lot of beautiful homes out here, you know, and most of it is homes, see, you know, single family homes, so, but we'll see how it all goes. And there's also that I want to start, I'm starting tomorrow, um, I might, using a new app that finally let me in the door, it's been, it's been saturated, there's a few of them that, um, I think three, it's too saturated. Too, too many of those, and I have confirmed that, and yeah, pretty much, Adam even, he first was going, uh-huh, okay, <laughs> then he saw one himself the other day, he was still outside uh, the car waiting for me, in the SUV, and one drove up right next to my SUV, he figured it out, yeah, he saw that, and he was like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know what to think, but yeah, <laughs> He's older than I, so his voice was a little older than mine. Okay, and another thing, I have several videos I've made. I'm probably they're around two weeks or so old, and since then, you know, ago, and since then, maybe more, give or take, then. And uh, trying, to, I can't put them all up on one channel. You know, I have more than one channel. I have several, <laughs> plenty enough over all these years, ten years started on my original ones 10 years ago and uh, so I've been doing this for since I started um, last year making these I put them on different channels because I talk you know on my way to there and on the way back when I'm not you know ready to take orders I'm not gonna do ever take any while I'm driving I'm not going to even touch the apps while I'm driving because when was it uh, 
this was just it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday we had terrible storms. The day before I got one and it was the first one I did, but it was that I was logging off. I was just checking it and I had just stopped at a light or something or a stop sign something. And I looked at it real quick and then I was turning off to log off of it. And uh, not log off the whole app, but just where they can't send me any more offers. And it hit a, one one offer came up from behind and boom, it hit that. Of course it happened because it happens a few times. Not really a whole lot, but enough. It's very irritating because then I don't know how much it was. Um, where it, would, or where it was going, and it could have been going a lot of miles. Well, I decided to go ahead and take it. I don't know what was wrong with me. Why would I do that? I should have just canceled it. And I had just been talking the day before, or the, yeah, the day before that I only have canceled one. I have a 1% cancellation. <laughs> Zip. Okay. And, but I took it and I said, hey, 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 it's not going to be that bad. It was horrible. I mean, it was scary. It was just totally frightening. Uh, a bunch of people, you know, a bunch of country roads. I mean, oh, terrible ones, terrible ones. Seriously. And of course, there's got to be at least one Bubba who decided that his foghorn on, it was really low foghorn, on his uh, big old Bubba truck. He needed to do that right in the bad, bad area when I had my caution lights on because my car, my SUV, was drives for my drives for me every once in a while when it's bad curves and i do not know how to turn it off i think i do <laughs> but but in the middle of all that was going people coming toward me it was behind me doing all this pushing me trying to get me to go with my caution lights on people you know and uh all of that going on and it was like you just a just a bubba just a dumb bubba you know big truck i mean huge that's so sickening. You know, I, I don't like that whole thing that people say, you know, why they buy those, they get those big old bubba trucks. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe it's more about their brain. If they have one. But then again, yeah, that's mean. Not about mean as you hear, hear me get. But yeah, I mean, it's not so smart to tailgate somebody when it's just one road lo lane on each road. It's a very curvy curves around and the speed limit my friends is 50 so part of it is 50 part of it is 55 i've driven for 45 years i know country roads too used to do so many road trips that was bad and the place to deliver was a private drive i didn't know that of course before i got there yeah and then when i got home it was three dollars and something well when i finally looked got back in the civilization i looked it was three dollars and some change, no tip. Oh my God, that's it's Bubba's for you. Private drive. It was it was to a business, by the way. Yeah. Okay, I stayed there for probably for about thirty minutes here, and the offers they were sending me, of course, were going far, and I don't want to go far. Okay. No, I've had enough of that. And then they're really not worth it either you know the gas the time the all that so it wasn't i think i declined only two and of course it took down my ar they finally fixed that i guess they took it down two points you know it was only at 34 the acceptance rate you know but there was a, there was just recently it was not doing like that i don't know what was the difference why it was different but i could close it you know, log out of the app, not totally, but just log off, whatever. Uh, I don't call it, I don't say which which app it is, so I don't give the the term they use. I just didn't want to use different terms anyway, so. But anyway, it, it was pathetic. You know, it's pathetic. If it, it had been any other day, maybe, but when it never rush hour traffic, still, they, they were, um, one of them was one of them was way out in another, um, way out in Garland. And Garland's the last place I want to go, or Dallas. And uh, I went the other day to Garland, and it triggered me so bad. It, it, it was nice roads like this, and it just often happens. Then it was really bad road, and the house, um, the house itself had, like, 
the people didn't cut down just these I don't know I would I don't know what you would call them but those they um they're not really tree trees <laughs> you know, they're, uh, somebody should have cut them down a long time ago and it covered up the front door covered up everything from the road and just one not just one but a few and it was very creepy <laughs> I, well, most of my, just for the record, most of the ones I do are just normal, you know, nothing big, no creepy, nothing from funny. Some of them can be funny to creepy to bad roads to whatever, you know, frightening like that one the other day. Um, but most of them were just normal. No big story, nothing behind it. So it's the ones that are, are you know, from funny to creepy to downright frightening um, that I talk about. So that one was bad and on the way back there was a big truck that, uh, you know, the delivery, big delivery truck, like I guess they would deliver things like, I don't know, I've seen them before, but they would deliver things like flooring or something like that. And uh, it, it almost hit me, it kept tailgating, they kept tailgating me and it almost hit me at a light. and from there, from from that one in Garland. I don't want to do Garland. I do uh, just certain parts of it, not all of it. Some of it's really nice. But, no, I don't want to get stuck because I don't know that area. And stuck in another situation like that. And, uh, okay, I cannot see around you. And you probably can't see around me. Okay. So, if you would go a little faster, you were turning. Okay. At least I got through there <laughs> without me turning red. And the person behind me went too. Seriously. Really? <laughs> oh. Anyway. So I'm going to go up here. It's, this, is, this is a Friday. It's only 4.56 right now. So I think I left home at 4 and I haven't gotten any good ones. But it took my... That, just that bit took my AR down and I'm going to stop caring because like I said tomorrow I'm starting a new app and hopefully it's not crazy you know like one of them just the, the what is that guy sitting there uh, you know the other one it's just crazy uh, glitches and that's the one that those kids did that thing oh I feel like I got a headache all of a sudden but the crazy stuff huh the app kept messing up so bad and like I'd even um, decline one and then it would start beeping in again like as if I'm still um, I'm, you know, supposed to be delivering it but there's no, um, no nothing there and it would just start telling me how to get drive through that one time it did that and I was on a different app at that time take, doing that one because I had declined the other one and turned it turned it off, but it kept doing. <laughs> like, man, these are supposed to be supposed to be people who know what they're doing. Not. <laughs> and apparently, since then, I've noticed uh, more and more people. You know, I've sort of watching more of these videos to see, and a lot of people are saying that that does it to them too. Not just here in Texas. You know. But anyway, this is a lot of work for nothing. Really, if I didn't have to do it for health insurance purposes, which I'm, it's not helping me. It's not helping me to get the goal that I need to have affordable health care here in Texas. Uh, so far, this year, so last year, I had to cancel it because it was so bad. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that again this time, but it just, I, I mean, it's just now, day before June 1st, and... We'll see, but I don't know. I've been to these places several times. I know one that works, but the traffic on Friday out there, I've been, I've been there, done that. Uh, and it takes people longer because it's further out, longer to get there. So it's like you're following the, the bad traffic, the rush hour traffic. And their traffic, rush hour traffic out there doesn't end until um, like eight o'clock and after around 8.45, it gets dark, and I don't do after dark by myself, so. Man, it's a lot of little things that you don't think, that I think not many people would think about whenever you, you say, oh, I'm going to do one of these apps and make some money. Really? <laughs> it's 
so far, like I say, it really hasn't been that much money. I mean, an amazing to me that it's been so little money from the, the where I worked last year and this year. It's just so, you know, it's not about the money. Like I said, it's about I have to prove to the government I can make some money, a certain amount. I don't really need the money. I wanted to just pay for it myself, but no, you got to go through all these things. At least that's what I'm hearing more and more now. It's even more difficult. Really? You can make it more difficult. It wasn't made more difficult. They just didn't tell me oh, how difficult it is if you wanted to pay for it yourself. And I wouldn't even be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, I would be able to. I have the money. But it's the, the, all that they're going to put me through. And I wouldn't. I would still have to earn that money according to what I was recently told by them. One of them, but she worked in a complaint department. It wasn't her department, so. Anyway, I want to wait and see if summer gets any better. Okay, that is it. I want to see, you know, if summer is going to, I'm going to be able to make enough. And if, and if it's going to be a no, I'm going to cancel it. And I cannot get on, I, I, I cannot, I shouldn't be working as it is. I don't know. Getting doctors or healthcare providers for me to tell me anything has been like pulling teeth and they still don't answer. But I have a deem on my feet, my legs, ankles, feet, bottom part of my feet swell up because sitting down like this, I shouldn't be sitting down too long. I'd have to go home. That's why I'm doing it. It's no business is going to hire me where I'm going to say after an hour, well, I have to go home to elevate my legs, you know, <laughs> see how long that lasts. And I can't do it from home because I can't sit it up for hours. I can't sit up for hours. It just depends. Sometimes I'm okay. Sometimes I'm not. It's been a year of this. I still, there's there's no rhyme or reason, it seems like. And uh, that is actually considered a disability. I, well, I've been considered as an American with disabilities since I was young uh, because I have a rare health condition. But I've never been on disability, never been getting any kind of assistance. If you do, that's that's bully for you, you know. It's none of my business. It's nobody's business. So, uh, but I don't, so never have. And because I have too many assets, like my SUV, um, I wouldn't be able to get on whatever, whichever one is. It could be Medicaid. It could be disability. It could be whatever it is. There's supposed to be one other one I could do, but then the woman said something else, and I said, what is this? Is this just, just going to make sure there's no help for somebody, you know, so I can get this health insurance? So, I mean, I was so upset. It was like, wow. You know, that that was calling that 211. And so it's, it's like being stuck doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing, you know, health wise. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I should be doing it. I don't know if it's okay. I can tell you one thing, if I don't, like yesterday it stormed all day, a big chunk of the day, scary stuff, two days, the day before, the day before that, whatever, in the morning, I mean, it's been like a week or something of it, and it was terrifying, um, I was asleep, but what I saw afterwards, oh my goodness, it was, Dallas, a lot of people still don't have electricity, a lot of, we have a lot of tree branches ourselves that were uh, knocked down, some more, some people had the whole trees yeah it was 83 somebody reported it up to 83 mile per hour winds and I know where ours were really high with yeah but anyway I'm gonna try see what happens there's a pizza place over there I want to see if they do okay I went home for a little while got myself something to eat Adam and I both said well he wasn't with me but when he was had gone to the store Anyway, when he came home, and I asked him, I said, what did we eat today? Neither one of us could remember. <laughs> he, said, he said that he he was thinking the same thing, too. But he was thinking, why do I feel so full? You know, he feels so full. And I said, I don't. <laughs> My stomach's hungry. It was a little bit, honestly. A little bit. Whoa, I went too far. I want to go this one. Somebody was turning. They had their blinker on, but then they didn't turn they weren't about to hit me or anything, but still, why do you have your blinker on if you're not going to turn? And then the people who need to have their blinker on don't do that. <laughs> so, 
know, I don't know about this. But anyway, um, so I had something to eat and watched a little bit of, I'm, wa I'm watching um, Scandal. Never, I had tried one time before to watch it, and that's the, uh, for the whole series on Hulu. It's Hulu, right? I think so. And then I have been watching it. I'm in the fourth, beginning of the fourth season. And it's pretty gross, but just cover my eyes of <laughs> the gross stuff. But really, it's a lot. I, I was never much on watching TV, so I have a lot of them I can, you know, go back and just watch. But anyway, I decided to go out again at 6.31. When I get to my little spot, I'll turn it on. I don't know why. You know, I was thinking before I left, right before I left, I, I was thinking, I t mentioned to Adam, I said, you know, these, um, I'd completely forgotten that these um, students, you know, college and university students are out and they're probably going to be, you know, working too. They may have been since, I think it was like um, a month ago, almost, or at least three weeks. And uh, he says, you know, these these students here, their their mama, their parents, pay for their school. They are spoiled rotten. <laughs> you think they're going to actually go out and do this? He doesn't like that I'm doing this. And like I said, I'm doing it for health insurance purposes only. You know, if I could find out a way to to get it without having to go through that that whole thing, I tried. Believe me, just just trust me. I didn't appreciate getting 20 calls a day. Yeah, and I told all of them I'm reporting you, and I did. <laughs> so my, my phone, you know, I don't know where it goes to. It just says report, and I report, and I said spam, or whatever it was was the right one. But they just kept calling, calling, calling. They tell them don't call me anymore. So I, I was not about to trust something like that. And there was one other one, something similar. Uh, I don't remember what happened. But they have the name of the insurance companies and they had their logos and all and they're stating that and one of them actually told me they were calling me, calling me from the um marketplace no you, you know they didn't say what marketplace but no yeah it was a lie i don't know what they were trying to hint at the oh it's just terrible you uh, know so i've been trying i tried some i think i, could, I think i did last year hey it's not too busy but I'm not ch chancing turning here. With the... Yeah, one of those cars right there uh, that should have the blinker on and didn't. Uh, one of those drivers. Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, I hope I can get something done. It, it's kind of, it's really pathetic. Like I, like I said, I said that I confirmed that there's a fleet. Well, I haven't. I'm, I'm not sure because the, the ad that popped up is so eerie when that happens. <laughs> you know? Adam even says, he, he talks about more. Like you th you're thinking something, you're saying something, or you having a conversation, and the next thing you know on the uh, computer or your phone, it'll pop up that topic. But the, yeah, that one did, and I, and I watched it, but I was busy. I was hoping, you know, getting, waiting to get offers and everything. And then I searched for it again, and I kind of glanced over what it was because I was doing the same thing. And then I did it again later on and looked and read what I could find, and it was nothing about the same kind of thing. It was actually more from merchants. But, uh, so I don't know, you know, about having those, they have gray four-door sedans that kind of beat up or they're and or they like scratch or somebody hit them or something like that. They're old, older, and uh, cars not in greatest shape. They don't look that great. Not all the same make. Uh, not all. They don't. They don't match the people who drive them. The people who drive them are really like look. They look middle upper middle class, and these vehicles they do not at all. <laughs> Uh, they look pretty rough, like missing hubcap and all that kind of stuff. So, don't know. Okay, but I've said this before. I've, I've seen plenty of them over. I don't know. You know that or white four doors, 
I've only seen a couple of those that were actual delivery people. These other ones I've seen were actual delivery people. And uh, I mean, I've actually seen them go and get the off the orders. One of them actually delivered the same place as I did. Some of them were actually inside at the same time as I. And uh, I see them pretty much everywhere, especially during the, the condensed rush, like at, at the noon hour, you know, or, um, well, actually that's the only one. Um, as far as dinner, dinner is different here. So I would think, but anyway. And then Adam finally saw one. He said, I couldn't believe I saw one. <laughs> it was funny because right before that, I was talking about it. And uh, he was like, uh-huh. You know, because I told him before, he's never seen one. Uh -huh. You know, kind of like that. Something along that line. And uh, he was just so shocked when he saw one right after that. I mean, it was like perfect timing. I was inside the store, the restaurant at the time. <laughs> But what can you do when you can't compete? I mean, I, I have considered there's one area, but they'll sprawl out there because the one I had first started delivering to hardly anybody. I, I never saw anybody at first out there. And then, you know, I would see somebody around my age, one, one here, one there. But there's another place, and i just waiting for them to sprawl out there. You know, the thing about it is, anybody, these jobs... Are available for anybody I'm not trying to say these jobs are ours or like as if it's an ours against them there's no them to be you know against the jobs are available for anybody who is legally allowed to do the job you know, to work in this country that's working you know who's that the right the correct age to work because you know, some of them say that you have to be 18 or older you know that kind of thing or you have the right to work in this country so they're, they're, they're everybody's who has those rights. You know, it's legally allowed and so forth. So, but it's, the problem is, I wasn't informed. Were you informed that there might be a fleet of people and they they get all the, the higher paying ones and we'll throw you, they'll only throw people like me, $2, $3, $4 ones. Sometimes, you know, crazy ones like an hour and 49 minutes for like 20 bucks or, um, what was it, 104.1 miles for or something around the same. It, it actually could have been higher because I just saw the hour, the hours or the, or the mileage and it went click off, you know. No thank you. Decline. But silly stuff, crazy stuff. They'll, they'll give anything that goes way out in the, into the boonies, I mean, to the, to the Bubba town, Bubba. Bubbaville, Bubba Land, <laughs> real scary stuff. I'm, I'm serious. I grew up in Texas, and the roughest, toughest town in Texas, not the one you see on videos, but no, the real one. And uh, some of that out there is, whew, wow, yeah. The, the, the driving and all, whew, not all of it, but I, I was more of a townie, so. But I have been out in the boonies, and it's scary, and that, this stuff is scary to hear, too. Well, anyway, I'm going to get started. Okay, I had one, and it took me way across. But, hey, it was one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I might get something out here or around it. Nope. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. The sun is so freaking bright right there. And everybody... It's going slow. It's stragglers like crazy. Okay, I am going to go. Hit and go because you're going too slow. But anyway. And then they fly by. <laughs> anyway, it's just like... I really don't know. I have actually considered just going somewhere. Just because, like I said, it's not the money to me. You know, for me personally. It is to... And I don't have to use that money for anything. You know, like to get the health insurance but I would have to earn that money you see what I'm saying so I, and I could be wrong because like I said I found out something different about it but anyway and the amount they, they're charging for this insurance wow <laughs> yeah. and, and I wanted to buy the cheaper one from the beginning you know but they but you know they said well you got to go to this and then they said well if you do this and then yeah 
because I wasn't working. And they say, if you work and you earn this amount of money. <laughs> and they keep changing the goalposts, by the way, too. I think it's actually this year's 2000 close to $2,000 more. What? And, and the woman, actually last year, they say, yeah, and they change the goalposts all the time, even during the year. So you don't, you never know which one it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get back down to this side over on this side and uh, try to get a couple. It's already 743 and within an hour, I mean, I've been doing this how long, how many hours today? Went home for a short while, went back out and I've gotten one and it was for like five bucks and something. <laughs> I don't know. You know, and it and it punishes you because the next one that they sent to me was, I think three dollars or something like that, and I clicked decline, and I looked before then and I looked after that to see what it's doing to my AR because it wasn't doing this like the last week or the week before, whenever it was, it wasn't doing this. Nope, they they're going to tell you you're not one of our fleet, so we are going to zap you. <laughs> Is that we're gonna we're gonna punish you, you know, for just not take accepting the three dollar ones. That's your job. You're supposed to take the three dollar ones. It's the the gray or silver car people, four door sedans, and all. They're supposed to get the good ones. I don't know. I really haven't seen any good ones since sometime last year. I mean, really good ones, like I saw last year. You know that made sense. What I've see, seen since then, I think it started, I was thinking about that and I went through and looked through some and I think it actually started the end of September or, or in October or end of October, somewhere in there, that it started being really crappy ones, seriously crappy ones. And uh, so that could have been whenever these gray people, gray people, <laughs> um, gray car people, you know, started doing their job, do, you know, doing their fleet thing. So, could have been. I was saying it must have been sometime this year, but you know, they probably started before then. It just took a while to build up. So. I don't know if you can see this, but imagine this. I go in here to park, and this one's pretty bad, bad beat up. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I think the guy was going inside at the time. Delivery person. I said, okay, I mentioned, you know, that I need to pull this up a little bit. Uh, I mentioned that, you know, Ad, I was inside a place and Adam saw this one. He was outside in my SUV smoking a cigarette and I was inside the restaurant. And when I was inside the restaurant, a guy walked in. I said, I think I've seen him before. He's one of those delivery guys. And uh, I, was to my, I was thinking this, okay. And uh, when I got out, the guy's car was parked in the uh, handicap. I don't like to use the word handicap, but it was parked there right next to my SUV. I don't, I don't have an I don't park in handicap. Um, but he had his flashers on, you know, his caution flashers, whatever. There's so many names for that one thing. Did you know that? <laughs> it's like, no, that that's not how it works. He didn't have anything that said that he was disabled, you know. None of those that, what it is, you know, hanging from the windshield or on. However it is, didn't have anything out there like that, but he was he had, he was parked in it and um, I got, got back in and said, do you know that's, that guy's a delivery guy? And he was all kind of like, wow, I told said all that before. But anyway, I'm gonna sit right here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go in there. Yep, here comes delivery guy. Watch, oh, you don't get to see. I, I'm not gonna video him doing it <laughs> either. But he has his flashers on too, but he's not in a, a handicap one. But he's got it has his flashers on. Yep. yep. He's got one of those real expensive phones. And uh yep, he's delivering. <laughs> yep. They are, like I said, they're usually old vehicles. They don't fit the person. And uh some of them are beat up, like the hood on this one's kind of beat up, and on the side, of, it must have been in a really bad accident. But then again, some of the ones I've seen driving, oh my gosh, I've said before in a video, there, 
Okay, uh, dude, are you noticing I'm here? Nope. <laughs> Almost hit me, same bad side of his. Because he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness, but uh, I don't know. I think I might get me a hamburger or something because I didn't have lunch and then I had, what I did have wasn't very much. It was just kind of small and for lunch, I actually had a salad. I always eat a salad, at least one every day, if possible. And, uh, but a salad isn't, you know, I don't know. I'm going to go in there. Okay, I left out something. I was saying that about, uh, they have, they, they drive, the many of them I've seen drive, drive like the uh, stere old-fashioned stereotype of taxi drivers. At least they, from what I remember. Okay, you're just sitting there, and I don't know if I want to get behind you when you're just sitting there. Oh, you're trying to go that way. Like the impossible way. <laughs> so, go around. But I, but I decided against going to the restroom. I'm going to go to my one more destination to see if I can get any out there. And, I mean, I'm not hardly even getting any offers. And that's what's weird. Okay. I didn't know my bad now that I've said that's about somebody you know I'm gonna be uh, it's gonna be tested at least mine isn't hitting somebody <laughs> Mine's sitting there going hello <laughs> get going okay but yeah all right I can turn here, turn here. I'm gonna go one more destination you know have one more before I just go home I mean, I don't know what it, I, I really honestly don't know what I'm going to do because there is no way to make what I need to make if it continues on like this, you know, to prove to the government and all that. And I'll probably will have to pay that, might have to pay it back, all of it, and it's expensive. So, the one I would have gotten is like about almost half the one I wanted. So, and I'm finding it, like I said, finding out more with the health insurance. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know why it's so bad tonight. It's 7.53 right now. I could possibly take one and get it delivered. Maybe before it gets dark. Maybe. Because some of these, I mean, just four, three, four bucks, five bucks. It says it's going to take 30 minutes. I mean, who works for that? Who works for that anymore? I mean, I remember when, I mean, I'm 60 years old. Next week, I'll be 61. But uh, when I was a um, teenager, I worked in, at a place, and I think they paid three thirty-five an hour. Well, you know, all these years later in Texas. Did I mention I live in Texas? It's a whole whopping $7.25. <laughs> that has been that for the past 15 years, the minimum wage. Right. And, you know, Adam says, oh, wait, but you know they pay people more than that. I said, no, that, no, I don't know that. There are still jobs that want to pay minimum wage. Seriously. I mean, I had heard of one of them. Um, when was it? Maybe 10, maybe, well, I don't know how many years ago it was. I haven't worked myself, so um, I'm a homemaker. And, yeah, I'm punished, penalized for that. Oh, shoot, I can't remember. It's been less than 10 years, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, yeah, they want, the place was wanting to pay a director job. Uh, minimum wage, yeah. And that, that way they didn't have to hire anybody. They could easily say that they that they that nobody would take the job. <laughs> oh, what people do, seriously. And, uh, anyway, I'm going to see what happens here. Okay, no thank you. I got close to this. This was the des destination right over here. And uh, I turned it on right there at the light. And it, it popped up one, two, two offers. I mean, two deliveries stacked together for $3 and some change. $3, that, that's, that's not even $2 an offer. $3 
three dollars and some change man and they're gonna penalize me probably too because I dare not to take it <laughs> I declined of course so I'm just gonna go home this this has become far beyond ridiculous I, you know I mean the, the most ridiculous was the one that was an offer I did not take of course was two dollars for 20 miles but then again there have been those two other ones a dollar, I mean, um, an hour and 49 minutes one way, it was like $20, and then the other one, my voice is going out, the other one was <clears throat> um, 104.1 miles, I already mentioned that, it was much earlier, I'm going home, talk to y'all another video, bye.